don't even know how to start this one. I am too nervous. I am Julie Kekwatello Films. I'm here with Jen Foster. Oh my God. We're done. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. No, Jen just played an amazing set here at the Backlot Bash in Chicago. It's Pride Weekend here in Chicago. Um, Woo! We're so, I'm so, so excited to be here with you. So thank you for sitting down with us. You I know are, you're a busy person. I just already love you. You're like so real and personable. And I mean, what I'm not. I'm totally fake. This is all an act. What is it? Is it Chicago or is it just you? What's going on? Chicago's pretty great. I was good before I got here, but Chicago made me better. Chicago is a really friendly town, and I love that because I'm from the South, where we're pretty nice. Maybe not as direct, but we're, we're nice, so I get it. I, I, I like you people. Thank you. Thank you. We like you, too. So, okay. I don't, I don't know where to start, so we're just going to jump in. You are a singer. Yes. I am a singer and a songwriter. Yes. Uh, I am... Uh, you own a record label. I do. I have my own little company. Uh, it is a record label, although I'm not signing other artists just yet, although I do hope to. At some point, I really hope to nurture young talent and, um, and make that a part of things. But right now, it's, you know, it's a lot of energy doing what we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know what we do with our record labels. I don't have a record label. <laughs> Would you? Oh, not yet. What the hell's wrong with you? Would do you think you'd be willing to take on someone who couldn't sing yet? Do we can develop you. We can develop you. This is a binding contract. De develop you. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a lot of developing. Um, okay, tell me about tapestry. Well, tapestry is. Um, it's a project that Otessa Gadar, who is amazing. Um, has put together and she she is the creator and producer of the teen web series Orange Juice and Bishop's Garden and uh, this series and and the project both deal with uh, bu you know bullying issues uh, you know there's just so many kids out there that are dealing with being bullied for being different and my music has always touched on that subject and the feeling of being an underdog or an outsider um, and so I just really related to what Otessa wants to do and it just seemed like a really great alignment of my music and my messages relating with her mission and her message. Um, she's a big thinker, she is a great human being and I'm just honored to be a part of this thing. So um, yeah, it's like a it's, great partnership. It, it is and I, you know, my song This Is Me, which I wrote about coming out to my parents at age 17, is going to be the theme of the Tapestry Project. So, um, so if I come on, theoretically, on your record label, will I be able to be on all the fancy magazines that you're on? <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, she, all right, listen, Curve, I might, magazine. I, I'll try to fit you in. Um, you know, maybe we could do a cover where I've like got my arm around I you think and just we look good together. <laughs> and then the, you have the blonde going on. I have this. I was thinking about going blonde, but I won't now. I love, by the way, can I just tell you, I love the glasses, the librarian look, the intelligent look is really working for me. <laughs> Opposite the track because I'm not very smart. No, <laughs> that is obviously not true. Obviously, obviously. No, I think it's so exciting you're going to be in curve. You're currently in Curve for the July-August issue. Yes, I'm, uh, there's a nice little write-up about uh, me and my music and Curve. And um, and then She Magazine going to be on the cover this month as well. So And next Rolling Stone. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Uh, you know what? It's funny, funny story. One of my fans, um, who I love, um, created a cover of Rolling Stone and put my picture on it. And I thought people would, of course, know that's a joke. And so I put it on my Facebook page and it got like the most like, people were like, congratulations, you've hit the big time, Jen. And I'm like, what? It's not a far-fetched notion for them. It looked so real. And I, 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 uh, I have to say, I didn't, I didn't ever correct them. I just let it go on. I let it go on. And it's, it's like got thousands of likes now. It's pretty no, crazy. Absolutely. No, I saw you making your way from the stage. You got to relax a little bit. And then you came to interview with it. And you could, it took for like eight hours for you to come back here because your fans kept stopping you, hugging you. I saw some woman, I thought, grope you, but I could be wrong. Everyone's just happy here. Well, I had a, yes, there was an ass grabbing. Sorry. Um. Ooh, watch your <laughs> can, I, can I say that? Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't me though. 
I, you know, I forget. I'm with, hey, it's telefilm. Surely I can say the word ass. I think so. I okay. think you're safe. Um, and then also you have the writer's share. Yes, I do. The, uh, How do you have, you don't sleep, do you? Um, you know what? I, honestly, I, I do. It's been a while since I've done a when it, since I've done a writer's share, but I did the first one with Richard Marks. Remember him? Like, uh, I know right Richard here Marks. waiting for you. Come on! Don't make me start singing, Jim Foster. Will you please show me? Show me your skills. Show me your skills. Will you sing it with me? No, wait. No, I changed my mind. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I will be. For you. Oh, look at this. I couldn't finish. I got overwhelmed. <laughs> you know, but anyway, it was yeah. it was fun having him. Uh, we had Keb Mo at one. Oh my gosh. I had Mike Reed who wrote uh, I Can't Make You Love Me for Bonnie yeah. Raitt. Yeah. Oh my God. So really great writers I bring into this thing and then we just I let them shine, let them play all their hits, and we raise money for cancer research. Uh, my thing is, you know, if I can help some charitable causes that I love and believe in. Um, with my music, I'm, I'm, I love to do that. I love animals, I love the environment, I love gay people. Uh, I do too, I love gay people. They're um, like so cool. You, I heard, your, I knew your song, you stayed. And then you played it, and I totally started tearing up. Aww, it was sweet. beautiful, it's beautiful. Thank you, I wrote that with a guy named Jeffrey Steele, who, um, He's just amazing. He's written a lot of Rascal Flatts songs and uh, no, Keith amazing. Urban songs. and uh, So that was amazing to get to write with him. Uh, totally was intimidated going into that, but he made me feel really comfortable. So um, it turned out to be a really great experience. That's so exciting. I am so happy you came to Chicago and I, we got to talk to I each other. I love Chicago, okay? Can we just say that again? This town is awesome. You're like... It's cultured, it's educated, it's friendly, it's uh, warm. So um, I'm, I'm really glad to be here. So where, I know, I got to see you here, uh, Chicago Pride Weekend. Where, where are some places you're going to be in the next couple I'm months? I'm also doing a tour with Patrice Pike, who's kind of a rock star in Texas, and, I'm, and uh, Michelle Malone, who's kind of a rock star in Georgia. Nice. So we're all going to go on a little, little tour together, and uh, that's in October. So a lot of things are in the works right now. That's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, and so much. Have you wear What are you doing? When do I get to develop you? Oh my gosh! Immediately. <laughs> How about after after your southern tour? Okay. All right. I'm on it. Woo! Oh my gosh! Commitment. <laughs> tell our fans. Tell your fans where they can find out more about you. Okay. Uh, well, you know, www. Dot <laughs> Jen. <laughs> 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 Dot jenfoster.com. That's one N. People, some people think it's two, but it's J E N F O S T E R dot com. And I, I have to tell any independent music fans out there, the best place you can ever buy music from an indie artist is on their website. Oh, thank you. Because thank you. that's where we that's where we make the most profit. Otherwise, if you go through iTunes or Rhapsody or CD Baby, they get a cut of it. Good for them. That's great. Yeah. But if I have to tell people, it's always no, go through jenfoster.com. Thank you. No, that's yeah. awesome. Or melissaferrick.com, whatever, you know. Um, she's here too tonight. She's, yeah. uh, she's going to rock it later, so. No, she's not. She's great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dom. So sweet. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Say goodbye to everybody. I will. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. <laughs>